it says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein you are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. And that's, that's, that's plain. You cannot get around that. All right? There ain't no respecter, respecter of persons with the Lord. Okay? Let's go to the book of Galatians. Uh, chapter 6 verse 7 Be not deceived God is The most high is not mocked For whatsoever a man soweth That shall he also reap So there you go man That's in the New Testament The New Testament is telling you the same thing The same mindset that it's speaking about in the Old Testament man. The Lord is going to pay back those that done wickedness to his people man That even those that destroyed the earth are going to be destroyed and the only person that I know destroying earth, you got the oil field that's doing all the fracking, destroying the earth, man. Poisoning the water. There's consequences for doing stuff like that, man. They they got they throw trash out in the uh out in out in uh in this in, in outer space. They got trash be uh, barrels of chemicals in the ocean. You know, killing off all the uh, the 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 the, 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 the animals, man. No. Uh, I'm going to continue back At Galatians 6 and 8 For he that soweth to his flesh Shall also of the flesh reap corruption But he that soweth to the spirit Shall the spirit reap life everlasting man. And that's who That's why us brothers man It's very important that we continue to push this truth We continue to uh, stay faithful To y'all by Shimei Awashah Because that's what we're exercising man We're exercising the spirit All right, We're uh, uh, molding ourselves to, to, to the to, to the mindset of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? And we're gonna re reap everlasting uh, uh salvation, man. There ain't gonna be no end to it when we're take put back in the kingdom. Alright? Uh it says, Be not deceived, the, the most high is not mocked, for who whatsoever a man soweth, sh that shall he also reap. You know, and, and that just you know, that's that's just, man. That's a perfect balance with the Lord because the Lord says an un uh, unjust balance is an abomination to him. You know? So, they're, 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 you can argue it, you can get mad about it, but at the end of the day, the Lord is going to always reign supreme, man. So this, is the, this is his prophecy, this is his word, man. You know? This is, uh, going to another scripture real quick. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Right, so you're not going to stop the prophecy just because you, you try to argue, you try to fight, you try to uh, discredit the prophecies of what we're saying, what we're speaking about. You ain't going to stop what the Lord's already written. That's one thing you people don't have control of. You don't got control of the Lord. You can't even stop when a tornado comes. You can't stop when a certain catastrophic events, natural disasters come. What makes you think you can stop the Heavenly Father's word, the prophecies? You got certain pestilence that are on the earth. You got this new drug called Flocka that's destroying people over there in uh, Florida, man. One hit of that, one hit of that drug, they got them bugged out, walking around like zombies, man. Crawling on the floor. That's that's what they got going over there in Florida, man. And over here in West Texas, you got fucking what they call uh, ice, man. Ice is destroying lives on a daily basis over here, man. Oh. You know, all that goes back to that word pharmacy. The word pharmacy goes back to the word in the Greek pharmakia, which means uh, 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 the word pharmakia goes back to the word uh, po poison, man. You know, like the pharmaceutical drugs, that's all they are, it's a bunch of poison, man. They don't do, they don't truly heal you. But staying back on the point is that these drugs, this earth is corrupt, man, it's wicked, man, it's evil. And that's crazy how I, you know I was, I was uh, checking out videos on YouTube, man. I, I found, fell across that man that there's that new that new drug, man, that came out over there. They call it Flocka, and these people are bugging out, man, with the, some tripped out things, man. And they're opening their minds up to to, to demons, man. Hallucinating, acting like an animal, man, crawling on the ground. That's just not normal, man. And then doing drugs. That's just a doorway, man. That's just an easier doorway for, for a, a damn demon to hop on, man. A spirit, man. You know? 
Okay, uh, going back to Romans 3 and 3. It says, For what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without, without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. Right, so the Lord is not no liar, man. What's written in the scriptures is what it is, man. The Lord is about his people, Yahshua Allah, Israel. He is a prince of power. So-called Negro Latinos and Native American Indians, man. Okay? And that's who he's coming back for, the elect amongst them, though. Because you got two-thirds of our people that are wicked, and they don't get right, man. That's why we call them can't get right. Because y'all y'all, don't want to listen. Y'all don't want to hearken to what we got to say and what the Lord has to say ultimately. Because we ain't speaking this out of our own mouth. We're coming out of the Lord, man. Out of the, out of the, the Lord's word, man. The spirit, man. Okay? It says... Uh, Romans 3 and 4 I'm going to jump where I left off As it is written That thou mightest be justified in thy sayings And mightest overcome when thou art judged Right, so nobody can judge me man I'm over here speaking exactly what has been What's been done on the earth And the, the word is here to back me up it's Like people saying well, How do you know that Judah is the Negroes Because the Bible told me so All you got to do is research it But even if you do, you're not going to understand Because the Lord ain't dealing with you man this, this book is, a, is, is parab a parabolic, man. And you got to have the Spirit of the Lord on you to understand the Scriptures, man. Not everybody understands the Scriptures. They don't even understand John 3, 16, man. And that's one of the least of the Scriptures, man. They, we ain't even jumping into prophecy. No? It says, That thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Right. That's why we always have the Scriptures out, the Bible. To prove all things Because there's always going to be somebody trying to debate Trying to contend We've got the scriptures to prove it And it's in history you know? So That's who reigns supreme man It's the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai okay? Who is a so called black man From the tribe of Judah man. All right? The book of Revelation chapter 1 proves that Daniel chapter 7 proves that all right, because those men, he, got, he walked the earth, man, and he resurrected. He came back in the flesh, man. And now he's in a spiritual body. You know, he has the ability to teleport. You guys, all them things. It's like in that movie, uh, X Men Apocalypse. Apocalypse was Yahweh Shai, man. It's coming back to cleanse the earth of all its wickedness, man. But you gotta, you gotta, somehow you gotta get everybody. That's what Esau is God. That's what he's trying to do is get everybody together to just try to fight against Yahweh Shai when he returns in the heaven, from the heavens, man. Got people thinking that they're uh, aliens and all this bullshit. They ain't aliens, man. Those are those are heavenly beings, man, with heavenly bodies, man. That are that, that surpass all this technology and power that's on the earth, man. All right. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it with that, brothers. Uh, I want to say uh, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers, out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. All right. First and foremost, uh, all praises and glory and honor to y'all by Shimmy Al Bashai, man. Keep kicking the truth, man. Pushing the truth. All right, debt to America, debt to you two-thirds, Negro Latinos, Native American Indians. You know, time has come, man. This is it. If you ain't get right, ask out, and you're going to die out in the cold, man. But until then, I'm going to leave it with that, brothers. Let's say Shalom.